This carving called Art of the Chase is a special one. My brother was blessed to be able to harvest a beautiful mature whitetail buck in October of 2019. This is a custom taxidermy plaque for that buck to honor the memory of the hunt. It was carved out of butternut wood and took me approximately 25 hours to complete. I started off by removing the section of wood in the middle with a router which was designed for pictures to be added when finished. I then started the carve by separating the layers. I knew the banner was in the front, then curls back behind the leaves, so I carved away the back portion of the banner and tapered the leaves in that area to separate the layers. Once I was happy with their depths, I separated each individual leaf and shaped them. The best way to maximize depth is to taper each leaf into one another. That gives me the most amount of wood to work with for each leaf when I start to detail them later. I'm not being too fussy here, I just have to make sure I'm careful around the delicate tips of the leaves so I don't break them off. One way to help prevent breaking off a tip is not to trim the tips of the leaves too skinny quite yet. I always give myself plenty of thickness still until I'm down to the depth I want to be in that area. Then I carefully carve the tips to the sketch, making sure my pressure against the tips are as low as possible. Once the leaves were roughly shaped, I started to work on the logo and lettering on the banner. This was probably the most difficult step to the carving, and what took me the most time. I wanted to give the lettering a clean gouge stroke border, which I think turned out nice and gave the carving some extra character. Throughout the process of carving these letters, I used a lot of knife techniques, which helped prevent corners from breaking off. I also made sure when carving the gouge border to stop my stroke early before the gouge plunge cuts into the side of the lettering. That would create small cuts along the sides, which I don't want, so I stopped the stroke early and finished it off with smaller gouges later.
The small lettering was very intricate carving, which needed several small gouges and knives to get in between the letters. I really had to take my time and make sure not to break off the small ends of the letters, especially any end that was perpendicular to the grain. Those areas were extremely delicate. Once the lettering was done, I was able to start on my favorite part of the carve, shaping and detailing the leaves. This really makes the carving come to life. I'm making deep, aggressive cuts here, which really helps give the leaves some depth and creates a unique flow. I have to make sure I'm carving under control here because it would be very easy to slip and carve into a different leaf if I'm not careful. When carving the leaves, I made deep cuts down the center and then from each tip towards center. The U shape in the leaves, I keep at the forefront, then taper and round them. The tips, I give a random look and change up the depth, giving each leaf slightly different character. With the V gouge, I then carve in the veins. I leave the gouge strokes how it is, which I think gives the leaves a really unique texture. The gouge I used probably 90% of the time carving the leaves was a Vayner number 11 10 millimeter. I love this gouge because of its versatility. You can create deep cuts with it, then turn it on its side and create shallow cuts. You pretty much have a number 11 and a number 5 gouge in one tool. hunt for this buck will forever be remembered. The buck was harvested in the morning hours of October 29, 2019. 
My brother Nate was sitting on the edge of a pond between two ridges where bucks tend to travel, scent checking for does. The rut was ramping up and the bucks were starting to seek. This buck came in and gave Nate a quality broadside shot at 20 yards. After a good double lung shot, the buck ran 60 yards and expired near the shore of the pond. Nate's business art of the chase creates amazing cinematic videos and was able to capture this hunt on camera. I encourage you to check the video out by clicking on the link below in the description where you can see the hunt unfold. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.